so let's go let's get this puppy open this looks big and heavy okay it's not a 3090 but it's still heavy Things dropping off already. Important notice: this card includes a retention bracket. Okay, that means it's heavy. There's a manual, EVGA GeForce installation guide. Okay, here comes the little monster. protected with all this plastic and here it is comes like this but here's what we're going to do pop this up very carefully oh, this is heavy loads of peel plastic peeling everywhere a huge huge heat sink I can see one two three four five six six heat pipes let's look at the back EVGA RTX remove protective film before use part number for this 10 GP 53885 KR okay not a plastic protector rubber protector here on the PCI Express connector I can see here the connectors for the fans the fans with the EVGA logo on the blades and of course this is a power angry card two 8 pin connectors there's also peel before use X C3 well this comes with three display ports one HDMI HDMI God, the heat pipe is huge look at the size of this heat pipe this is one of the largest heat pipes I've ever seen this is massive I can see some paddings here cooling pads on the on the memories on the VRAMs. Yeah, you can see very clearly here some keypads, solid capacitors, which is nice because usually solid capacitors last longer. Yeah, we can see more more pads here. I don't know if I can get this on camera, but um, you can see here one small pad very big pad on this side also I only see one memory chip but there's a huge pad here hmm, I wonder why there's another small there's a oh there's some more electronics here this is not VRAMs I think this I think these are VRMs the stabilizers voltage stabilizer they also they are also cooled from uh, from this heatsink so everything as far as I can see is attached to the cooler so it can dissipate heat which is nice and there's something here on this side here we don't see that very well oh, I don't see it all this this also looks like a like a pad. I don't know if it's a cooling pad or if it's just to hold it in place so it doesn't move, something like that. So it's very nice card. It looks like as a like a carbon finish here. The the color of it is kind of a carbon finish. And um, pretty neat. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm doing this part of the video a few days uh, after I've been uh, after I've installed this uh, uh, 
uh, this card. I've uh, been playing around with it, been testing it, been playing, actually been mining with it. I tried to mine and uh, you know this card, the guys that are into cryptocurrency know that this card uh, can mine quite well. Uh, also produces a lot of heat. I was just doing a test here and uh, a few moments ago and as you can see here and um, I had temperature around 88 90 degrees and uh, this is uh, with RPM of 2800 uh, this was mining Ethereum for a while actually for uh, quite a few hours I just stopped it because uh, I had some fans here but it's uh, it's very hot in here um, and um, this card produces a lot of heat it consumes depending on the cryptocurrency that you use it can consume around 300 watts the maximum I've seen here on the um, on the board board power draw I don't know if you can see from here but um, it's 300 uh, I've seen 300 and I don't know 20 watts I think was the maximum and this is a very power angry card also one thing the memory if you don't play around with the um, with the fan profile I actually set my fan profile if the GPU reaches uh, 48 degrees it goes to 85% on uh, on all fans if I don't have this this way I've seen uh, at the beginning uh, before I knew this when I started to use this card I saw the memory here above 100 degrees I think it's normal because the um, GDDR6 uh, is it works very hot but uh, if you change the, the fan profile you can cool it down I think it's more healthy for the card and uh, I think it's better to blow out the fan than actually blow out the card so I set it to to a higher higher RPM at the lower lower temperature so that the memory doesn't doesn't get that hot doesn't get that high here on the on the memory uh, usually it's around uh, 88 90 degrees sometimes when it's hot it goes around 92 94 for me is an, it's a no-go I, I try to maintain it below 90 88 maximum this is a uh, I didn't say what this is this is a VGA precision x1 this is the the, the software for from the, the EVGA and you have a lot of options here you can set the memory clock set the memory clock here the GPU clock the voltage this is the GPU temperature right now uh, the power target so you can uh, set either the power target or the, um, the temperature target this is usually linked here with this small chain if you move one the other moves if you separate it you can set different uh, options you can set the fans to auto if you want to or you can set this by hand and say the fans will be running always at 75 or 80 percent on this side you have also two this is a profile of the temperature if the temperature reaches this uh, this is actually to prevent the card from overheating um, and you can set this too this is the fan profiles you have a few profiles here but i prefer to use my own and this is if you want to try several overclock settings if you try to use several overclock settings you can um, use this part of the of the software it will try to change the, the voltage and the frequency and see if it uh, if it fails or if it passes this is like a, a test for the for the card to see how much can he can he, which is the rgb part although you can have all the, those rainbow effects and things like that I choose to do one thing if the card is below 59 degrees which I think is healthy th this is GPU once again GPU temperature it will be blue if it's above 60 it will be yellow and if it's above, se above 70 it will be red and according to that this color here will change on the card so if your card if you see your card if you have a, a, a window in your case and you see the card if you you can actually control the temperature of it by the color I think it's it's a useful thing other than just having a rainbow here uh, flashing and things like that and they have several modes you know you can just gonna change one here so you can so you can see there's there's the rainbows and lots of effects this is synced together so the same way this 
flashes, uh, same as this one. But uh, personally, I prefer the temperature, which I think is more important than actually the, the looks of it. Just to let you know. And uh, uh, this is the hardware monitor. Yeah, you can have the hardware monitor here uh, showing you the, um, the value of the clock. You can add more things. Uh, you can add whatever you want here. There's lots, lots of options here. I don't use it actually. Uh, this is actually a power cal calculator. It will scan your your PC and will redirect you to an EVGA power supply uh, page, so you know you can have um, a power supply for your for your PC in case you don't have a decent one. Precise little bar. This is not a UF, UFI not a UFI installation, so it's not compatible. I have to reinstall Windows in UFI. Um, so I'm not going to be using that, it's disabled. And uh, there's a setup where you can put hotkeys for the profiles. Talking about profiles, the profiles are here on the on the right hand side. Just going to show you one here. You can put zero, which is the default one, everything is automatic. You can put one, I already set uh, a profile and I have to do load. I'm not going to load it right now, just explaining you. And uh, second profile, just do load. It's simple as this. There's some glitches on the software because sometimes when you put this into auto, the, um, this profile disables and the fans spin real, real slow. You have to be careful. The, the car hits it's up uh, very fast. In a matter of seconds, it's uh, running above 100 degrees on the memories. And um, you have to be careful with the, with the software. This is an alternative to to afterburner MSI afterburner. This is the MSI. This is the EVGA afterburner, so to speak. So, but it's very simple. I will be mining with this. I will do some videos. I'm gonna show you. I've been playing this. I don't play any major games, um, ordinary, very old games, Counter Strike, things like that. Uh, so it's more than enough for this card, but. I bought this one mainly for my for editing my videos uh, and it's pretty pretty fast editing and rendering all the videos and uh, I will be playing around with the mining this is the only card I have to mine I'm not gonna set a mining rate here but uh, since I have it I'm gonna mine once in a while and uh, see how it works so that's about it thank you very much for watching and uh, just one last thing I hope you like my anti-sag card holder yes this is a piece of Lego and works perfectly. It fits here between this hard drive and the card and it's perfect. <laughs> so I hope you like it. See you in the next one. Subscribe if you like my videos, give it a thumbs up, whatever. Comment below if you have some questions. Maybe I can answer you some, some questions. And uh, see you in the next one.